good idea to upgrade because of the complexity because I've upgraded twice but it's never left my desktop <laughs> I and I don't want to add complexity on top of complexity so I may just be using this library to build a, a, a camera position and movement so why don't we test that out here I'm gonna add a camera to the waypoint so we probably need like some type of a look um look at so behavior this doesn't matter if it's smooth or not right i just like smooth who wouldn't so let's add a couple of them and then we'll move them around so that's one and that's two let's add one more so is that be before or after selected third it last so now if we have some type of script to have it pointing or looking at the the cube then that'll be done right we can fake it <laughs> I, I don't have any scripts written for that now how could that be right it's just a look at script let's try that out yeah you you for the camera stuff you may want to uh, override the fix update and and use a, I mean, yeah, and use the late update. Yeah, that that'll that that'll be nice. I mean, the routes can be as long as you want. Yeah. Huh, I don't know. Um. Want me, want me build you an output and you run it through some tests tonight? All right. Uh, that'll be that'll be cool for me. Uh, I can get a, a a report when you when you come back online. It's the only thing that the player could move. Nice. How's your camera skills there? Camera's a real pain to mess around with, I must say. So I'm going to write a quick script here in the extra to have the camera look at a target. So let's call that. Look at target and then look at target. Look at target is gonna, why not? Look at target 3D. Yeah, I'm not messing around with any 2Ds right now. <laughs> Rotates, object to look at another object in 3D space. Let's test this out and then well, we'll see if we are even onto something. So we need a target. Maybe a transform is good for this this type of call. So here's our target and let's do this at start. Let's pull that out. Let's run while enable. I said fixed update, right? Late update. I'm sorry. Late update. Let's do that in late. So here we are in late update, which is spelled wrong and will never run. God, I swear my left shift key has been dying on me for months now. So we don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need that uh, target to look at. So we got that. This is going to end up being a part of the script. <laughs> I might as well write it as such, right? So we have the late update. In late update, we don't want the target to equal anything. We want our transform. So we need awake. So we can cache our transform. Makes no sense calling it 
over and over in the late update. And it's going to be private. Don't need access to it. So cool. No, no, no. This is this is um it's not on the store yet. Only thing that's on the store is my preview page where I'm setting it up. So trans equal. What's on the store now is camera waypoint manager. And that one's just, uh, um, it's meant strictly for the camera. Uh, um, it moves the camera around and it looks at an object. It, there's scripts to switch between the object because it's looking at has quite a few features like it can follow an object along the waypoints for instance if you set a group of waypoints and you ask it to follow the object then it would um it'll pick the closest waypoint to that object and get to that waypoint along the route and uh, so it'll stay on the route and it'll pick the closest waypoint that it can see the object from uh keyword is see the object so with colliders not on the camera on any object in the scene it uh, it uses raycast to make sure the object is in line of sight and if it's not it chooses another waypoint to go to so that's what's on the asset store right now this one here is uh something totally different this one can move and manipulate any any object And this is probably what I'm going to be using to write the next camera waypoint um, asset. It's actually the most popular one on the asset store. So now our trans transform dot look at it's that simple, right? I know there's a, a really nice yeah. So we want to look at our target. So we have our trans in a late update we look at our target done deal so back in unity and i started up the wrong unity of course i'm so used to using the new guys everyone wants to use the new guys so here's our camera along some waypoints and let's give it our our new script I'm I'm creating an advanced camera waypoint manager right here. <laughs> That's pretty good. I write the scripts now. I won't have to write them later. Well, when like this, sure you can apply it to to the camera, but if you really want the camera to be like you, not not even unique, but how would I say, to be custom to what you're doing you're probably going to need to write quite a bit of code. But when you design something for the quote-unquote the camera, then, you know, you, you take care of a lot of things that that would need to be taken care of to have it um, run as a camera code. So there we are, man. We can look at it on both sides. Let's speed that up. Well, that's how it runs. If, if you can write some code to make it do better things so it's ping ponging now let's get this out of the way actually I'll bring back up the chat now a few so let's uh, put it on wrap let's take this one a little higher slow that down oops <laughs> or we can stop it and we can also reverse this is the actual speed and this is just a scale on the delta. So if you have really high speeds, you know, small changes on the delta would result in large, large changes on the other side. So yeah, there you go, man. You can design your camera with this. That's, looks like something. So you can access these things in code too, so you can probably even like right in the middle of the code just add another waypoint at a certain spot that you want it to to go to let's go on the inside of that guy this can 
change the curve, make it do a nice little loop de loop there. Yeah, so there you go. So that was a good thing for me. I want I needed to do this all the time to see if it's gonna be feasible. But this looks pretty good. The only thing I would want to do to make it a camera asset is to have the way it moves, the way it traverses, not not this time curve stuff. That, that's different. This will um, ease in and ease out from each waypoint. Like something like that, you might want to define it for the entire route, for instance. And speed. Right now, uh, the speed is defined from, how do you say it? It's a 1 to 100 value. A 1 to 0 to 1 value, 100%, or the ratio, ratio type. So if your waypoints are really far apart, it will translate that distance very, very fast. In comparison to it translating a close distance you know something for like a camera move you may not want to just look at you may want a smoother type of look at you know something that eases in or eases out to show acceleration and that type of stuff so it should be good I think it'll be a, a good fit oh yeah yeah, this one, this one's going up as, as soon as I can get done with it, you know. As soon as I can get done with it. I just, sub I submitted today four assets for approval on the asset store. And those are all four um, price reductions. So I've slashed all the prices by half for all, all my assets. Except for the camera, the camera one. <laughs> that was $35, actually. I used to sell it. But everything is slashed now under color creation by half. So, and that's in to build a little pump. So when I put out these other two assets, the Uni Twitch and this one, I can have people interested in, in me and my company. So, yeah, man, if, if you want to build, look, I, I did the look at script already. <laughs> I can build out the asset and, um, how would I, I don't know how to get it to you. I don't have Dropbox and stuff. So I can just upload it to my website. And then you can download it from there in a zip file or something. So yeah, this is this is uh, a value constraint. And actually, this test was a pretty nice one. So I was able to add the the waypoint add a script a, a tiny little script and I'm able to get exactly what I want out of it yeah nice <laughs> nice 